Bro, we are back with another banger. I hope all you banging fans are ready for what we have for you guys. Yeah, bro, I think they are ready for this banging news we got for them. So, bro, new Forza Motorsport 8 report has exciting news for fans. According to a new report out of Windows Central Xbox Showcase is set to go down on January 25th and will feature the Next Forza game, the report makes no mention of the release date, will be shared. Let's just hope this is true. The sources tell lies a lot, I tell you. Yeah, bro, I agree with you. We should wait and see. Maybe this might be true. Let's hope. Let's move TMNT Shredder's Revenge out now on mobile via Netflix. Damn, thanks to Netflix for bringing these games back. I really enjoyed playing it back in the day. I think I can also enjoy it now to bring back nostalgia memories. I was such a big fan of the game back in the day, I am still a fan, even now I wonder why they stopped making Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles games onward Skyrim Grandma would love Bethesda to release Elder Scrolls 6 before she dies YouTuber Shirley Curry. Better known by her fans by Skyrim Grandma has said that damn Todd Howard please make this grandma dream come true before she dies please. Yeah bro Todd Hodward better hurry up quick because granny is left with little time so bro cyberpunk 2077 dev cdpr to pay 1. 85 million for investor lawsuit resin law firm filed a lawsuit back in December 2020 against cyberpunk 2077 bug infested launch and cdpr lack of transparency about the game's performance on last gen consoles this company did well by suing cd project. Red they fucked us up with the cyberpunk 2077 launch they should be suing them more. Yeah bro they should be suing them more they sold us an unfinished game we wasted a lot of money but it is okay now because the game is good let's move Ubisoft is trying to get acquired but mostly get laughed at says insider Jeff Grubb it's not going to. Plan through the reason Ubisoft want to get acquired is because they lose 500 million dollars in a year I will also laugh at them they no longer make great games anymore. Yeah bro they faded away now they just make shit games and average games onward PlayStation 5 system update finally adding Discord integration Tom Henderson says the feature is coming as part of the PS5 firmware update 7. Zero, zero, the update is currently scheduled for March 8th thanks to Sony for finally adding Discord now we can communicate with our friends and fellow gamers. I am also happy bro I will talk with my friends and fellow gamers so bro Twitch streamer banned for sexual content after showing her bare feet just Keth took to Twitter yesterday perplexed by the ban based on Twitch community guidelines it seems her. Feet were the problem it says showing her feet is fetishing behavior damn this is super insane but there are people who see feet as sexual Twitch is protecting them. Yeah bro Twitch is protecting them from masturbating many times the surprising reason Twitch star Amorinth hasn't ditched NSFW content yet she says it would be selfish and irresponsible to do a 180 at a moment notice some of her fans will be left. Out this is a lackluster reason for her she should just admit that she loves doing hot tubs that's it and her husband was not forcing her. Yes, she should just admit and stop lying to us. We are not her friends to lie to us. Let's move Hogwarts Legacy players freak out that the game has been delayed again as highlighted on the r slash Harry Potter game subreddit. The game's release date on Steam has been changed from February 10th to simply coming soon. I'm kind of freaking out wrote several Nev. I hope it does not get delayed. Bro, let's just pray it does not get cancelled. That will help us a lot. We have waited a long time with this game onward. Gamer fired after accidentally adding boss on Xbox while working from home. Xbox gamer Brandon recently took to the TikTok account. Plasimenko to share his cautionary tale. He said, don't add random people on Xbox because apparently bosses do that now. This is pretty hectic. People should be more careful. Yeah bro people should be more careful companies nowadays find many ways to fire employees so bro ghost of Tsushima Gene voice actor wants to reprise role for live action movie fans are quite vocal about bringing back Daisuke Suji who provided the English voice of Gene as well as the face model and motion capture Suji himself has responded to fans on Twitter some interest in playing the role again I think he should play the role again because he nailed it. I agree with you bro, he should play the role again, it only belongs to him alone, let's move Henry Cavill spent the weekend at Warhammer World hanging with fans Cavill popped along to the Games Workshop UK headquarters and Nottingham on Friday damn. Henry Cavill love for the Warhammer franchise is deep and I also like that she likes hanging out with fans. I also love that about him the way he respects people and not considering himself a superstar we know he is Gears of War Remastered Collection rumored to still be in the works according to Xbox Insider Nick Baker a remastered Gears of War of some sort. 
is still slated to launch down the road in a new update shared on social media he says has been told this remaster is still happening. This is going to be awesome I can't wait for this remaster collection onward Mortal Kombat 2 leak taken down the source code for Mortal Kombat 2 leaked online offering fans a never before seen treasure trove of information about the 1993 game Mortal. Combat owner Warner Brothers has taken issue with the source code's release sending a decade request BitHub the website all related files have since been removed the source code and moves combos and stages cancelled fuck Warner bro for deleting the source code. Yeah bro fuck them bloody greedy dogs they can go to hell why did they take away the source code let's move Team Fortress 2 suffers major asset leak the leak has revealed 61 gigabytes of assets from Team Fortress 2 the leak had character models and used maps. Unfinished maps, original gun concepts, and so much more damn this is crazy finally we see pics of the game damn can't wait to play it. Me also bro I can't wait to play it is going to be lit valve will take down the links don't say I did not tell you bro onward Ubisoft delays skull and bones for a sixth time and three more unannounced games amid major challenges in the industry the underperformance of their games and an upcoming restructuring damn I feel sad for skull and bones I have been waiting for this game for the longest time I hope it arrives someday. I hope so also bro it's been a long time now waiting for the game so bro new King Kong game announced reported by licensing magazine DeVito Artworks has partnered up with Game Mill Entertainment to produce a new King Kong for a variety of platforms I just hope that the game is going to be good. I also hope so bro that the game is as good as the movies let's move all your favorite flash games are still alive and playable thanks to this website the internet archive has ensured that those strange yet wonderful flash games are available today. The website is achieve.org thanks to archive.org for saving this flash games we thank them so much. Yeah we thank them bro they are doing the lord's work with what they are doing god bless them onward stadia game lives on through sneaky steam update guns port once a stadia exclusive has been smuggled inside another steam game necrosoft says they care about game preservation that's why they smuggled the game and made it offline damn thanks to this gaming company for being so caring this game would have been gone forever if they did not do what they did. Yeah bro I agree with you they did great they helped a lot of fans of the game so bro John Wick director helming Michael B. Jordan Rainbow Six movie chats to Helsky best known for directing the John Wick movies will direct Michael B. Jordan in the Tom Clancy sequel Rainbow Six as a follow up to 2021 without remorse I just hope the movie is good and not trash like other movies based on video games. Bro I also hope that the movie is good we don't want a shitty movie let's move the last Google Stadia game is a piece of history the game name is Worm Game anyone can play the game because it's free Stadia used the game to test Stadia features but they are only releasing it now the game was used as test back in 2019 thank you Stadia for bringing us this game to play may you rest in peace. Yeah may Stadia rest in peace we had a great time playing the games there see you in future or never so bro PlayStation drops 12 free games available PS Plus players will have access to back 4 Blood, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Devil May Cry 5 Special. Edition Erica, Jet the Far Shore, Just Cause 4 Reloaded, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm and Ammo Damn People hurry up and get this games before they are removed there. Yeah bro people must act quick before this games are no longer there let's move PS1 Spider-Man is finally back and fans are losing their minds Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse dropped and in it fans noticed PS1 Spider-Man is there damn this is great. News I absolutely loved Spider-Man from PS1 game and I am glad he is also here in the Spider-Verse. I am also happy bro this Spider-Man bring in so many memories he made our childhoods awesome onward the last of us viewers argue the show is better than the game after one episode Kingdom Ants tweeted the series executed scenes better than the show. Flavor Jones said he loved the changes they made and the extra character development this is crazy the series is not better than the game for me the series is just okay for me not that great to even make noise about. Yeah bro the series is great but not better than the video games that's nonsense and does not make sense to me so bro gamers girlfriend arranges surprised meeting with online friend of 6 years one twitch streamer flew all the way to Germany from Australia to meet his friend damn his girlfriend is nice making him see his gaming friend may this too continue being friends and rule the gaming world bro are there gaming news we did not talk about. No bro we are done thank you people for watching our podcast we wish all you the best and sucked in your lives.